to all. Warm welcome. I am Saranya, Assistant Professor, Department of ACE, GRT Institute of Engineering and Technology. I kindly request Mr. Swarna Gopal, Associate Professor, Department of ACE, GRT Institute of Engineering and Technology to give welcome speech. Thank you. Thank you, Saranya, ma'am. Very good evening to one and all present here. It gives me an immense pleasure to welcome our respected chairman of the our MD Sri G R Radhakrishnan Sir, Group Head H R Dr. Syed Ali Khan Sir, most respected and beloved principal Dr. S R B M Sir of G R T I T. It is my turn to welcome our today's chief guest Dr. P G Kupaswamy, Professor, Department of Physics, Siddhartha Institute of Engineering. and technology put to on the pradesh thank you sir for accepting our invitation also i welcome uh, actuals of various departments faculty members researchers students from all over india i welcome you all for the most informative day this webinar is a way of enriching the faculties and researchers with the latest updates of recent technology in the field of biosensor In today's environment, enhancing our knowledge improves our confidence level in our career. So, I would like to inform all the participants to kindly listen this session from our eminent expert. Note down the points, clarify the doubts at the end of this session. Once again, I welcome you all for this wonderful gathering and hope this session will give you as an enormous ideas and thoughts. Have a fantastic, knowledgeable day. Thank you, one and all. And once again, I welcome you all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, I kindly request Mr. Balaji, Assistant Professor, Department of ACE, GRT Institute of Engineering and Technology, to introduce our chief guest. Okay. Good evening, one and all. I'd like to introduce our chief guest, Dr. P. J. Kumaraswamy, sir. Currently working as a professor. In the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering at the Third Institute of Engineering and Technology, Putro, Andhra Pradesh, he has completed his B. C. from Madras University, Chennai, and M. E. Applied Electronics from Anna University, Chennai, and P. S. C. Electronics and Communication Engineering from Saint Peter's University, Chennai. He has published 30 international journals, including F. A. in the Web of Science and Scopus in the journal. And the 35 international conferences, 25 national conferences, and national journals. He is an international journal reviewer for multimedia tools and applications, Springer, and the structural computing and the biomedical signal processing and computing, biomedical engineering and biocybernetics, resulting physics and extra. He is a membership of IED, BMSCI, IED, and ITB. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, on behalf of all the participants and Department of ECE uh, of GRT IIT, I would like to extend a warm welcome to our research persons of the day, Dr. P. G. Kupuswamy. I hope today's session inspires ideas and discussions around the ways that we can equip ourselves with. Sir, please, sir, take over the session. Okay, okay, fine, sir. Uh, good evening, one and all present here. Uh, today's my topic is biosensor and its application. Research perspective. This is uh, Dr. P. G. Kupuswamy, Professor, E. C. Department. I am currently working in uh, Siddharth Institute of Engineering and Technology, Puttur, Andhra Pradesh. Today's topic is uh, biosensors and its applications. It will be very very interesting topic for doing researches. those who are doing research in biomedical side or mechanical side or chemical side so biosensor and biomedical journal is playing important role and you for this journal is 10.257 sir are you getting my voice sir please respond yes sir yes sir hello yes sir yes sir yes sir okay fine and here in this journal notice the definition for biosensor is given 
So what is biosensor? Biosensor are defined as analytical device incorporating a biological material, biological derived material or biomic intimated associated with or integrated with physiochemical transducer or transducing microsystem. So basically biosensor is, is, is a device, is a device which is incorporating with, with a different domain. So not only a single domain, which is consisting of many domains, it's called a microsystem. It's a nano system. So which is consisting of optical system, electrochemical system, thermometric system, piezoelectric system, magnetic system, micro-mechanical system. So biosensor and bioelectronics is the international journal is a plain important role for those who are doing research in biosensor and biomedical, biomedical and bioelectronics. So it is an inter-discipline journal serving professional with interest in extra-application biological materials and it is in the novel diagnostics and electronic device including sensors, DNA chips, electronic nose, lab on chip, micro EAS. So biosensor usually means your digital electronic signal which is proportional to the concentration of specific analytic or group of analysis. So this is the Chat idea of your those who are also doing research in the Chat uh, bio and bio side or bioelectronics side or biomedical side. This is the important journal. So the purpose of this journal is connecting the uh, electronic field oriented students, researchers, and the purpose is to the biological side students. So the thing information storage, electronic component activators. So this those who are doing research in the uh, biomedical side. Now we know what is the definition for biosensors now and its applications. So what is the definition for biosensors? A sensor or device that is integrated biological element with the transducer in order to produce an electronic signal prop signal which is proportional to a signal analyte which is then conveyed to a detector. So here you know that uh, basically here uh, small uh, communication models are required to integrate or to devise the biosensor sensor. What is the uh, proper channel and what is the corresponding output that will be detected. So it is a device, what is the input device, what is the channel and what is the detector. So what is a biosensor? A biosensor once referred to any response to the chemical spaces in the biological samples or using biological components. So now you take our body, which is consisting of many processes. So if you want to get uh, uh, digestion, you know, so you need a chemical spices. So chemical reactions are playing important role in our, in our body. So that is known as biological important component for, for uh, designing the biosensor devices. See, for example, you take this picture. So you take a parrot. The parrot is giving some input signal through transducer or through proper system in order to sense something. So here, no, they are testing with the help of uh, with the help of uh, parrot. Now you take this is called you know mutagen manager. So here you are uh, getting this is called you know DNA DNA that will be tested with the help of the blue laser light. Okay, so here you are getting a DNA repair. A gene so that will be recovered with the help of some uh, blue laser light. So, you are doing some exercise to the DNA. So, in order to the, are you getting my voice, sir? Hello, we follow nowadays. In, in our regular life, in our regular life, we are using different type of uh, biosensors uh, to, to prevent some diseases. For example, important disease in our body is uh, glucose, sugar level, saccharinol, niri uh, Tamil That is called blood glucose monitoring systems. Here they are introducing many systems 
to monitor glucose level in our body so this is a plantable one this is called implantable one so okay so plantable one is nothing but some some devices required that will be uh, inserted in our body but implantable no no devices required to test uh, our body without uh, a device i mean without uh, some components say here i have given some uh, figures uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. These can be used to monitor the glucose level. And in our glucose, what is a normal level and what is the abnormal level? So we should know uh, what is a normal level and what is the abnormal level in our regular life. So this is very important uh, parameter in our body. If if uh, blood level, so it's very dangerous to us. So that's why you know. Uh, uh, blood, blood glucose level monitoring system is very important. That is uh, constructed or designed with the help of biosensor devices. So your glucose monitoring system is designed with the help of implantable devices. Now you take one more example. In our regular life, in our road sites or you take a city side or you take village sites, the important problem is alcohol content uh, uh, problem, right? In order to uh, find out alcohol, so alcohol meter used by police, not only police, so many uh, um, uh, system to detect the concentration of alcohol consumed by the driver. See, this is called, you know, electronic system. So this kind of electronic system or a sensor system can be used to find out the concentration of alcohol level from the body. So uh, that uh, level will be will be uh, sensed with the help of you know this device by uh, electronic components. So this is also biosensor. Biosensor means what is the input to the this device from the uh, some smell from our body, the some smells from our mouth side. So that will be detected with the help of so smell is the bio smell smell is the bio biological parameter. So that is smelled with the help of this device. So this device called alcometer used to uh, detect the uh, concentration of alcohol consumed by a driver. So now I am going to provide biosensor development, uh, which has actually started uh, in the year of 1916. So the first report on immobile immobile mobilization of proteins. And in 1922, which can be used to find out the pH electrode, in 1956, they found the oxygen electrode. 1962, they found a biosensor with the help of amperometric enzyme electrode for glucose. So the glucose is playing an important role in the year of 1962. So next, 1969, they found a potentiometric biosensor. In 1970, they invented ISFET, ion selective field effect transistor. In 1972 and 1975, they found the Yellow Springs instrumentation glucose biosensor. So the biosensor is playing important role for glucose. And in 1976, they found the artificial pancreas. In 1980, they found the pH sensor for in vivo blood gases. In 1982, they found an optic bio, optical based biosensor for glucose. In 1983, they found the first surface plasma resonance immunosensor. In 1985, they found the glucose ax, oxidized for the production of glucose. In 1987, they found a glucose, a blood glucose biosensor with help of medicines exotic. In 1990, they launched Param, Paramica. Bioco SPR based biosensor system. So similarly, you know, in the following years, so the biosensor is a playing important role in order to design the uh, glucose biosensors. So you take uh, uh, further years, you no, know, you know, they are investing more amount in terms of billions to design the biosensor systems. So what is sensor? What is a transducer? What is activator? So sensor is a device which can be used to convert a physical or chemical quantity into useful electrical quantity. 
so which can be you which can be measurable one so in terms of amperes or in terms of voltage or in terms of watts so you can get the electrical quantities so what is a transducer is a device which can be used to convert one form of energy into another form of energy and what is activator is a device which performs a mechanical action which can be converted into corresponding a signal why biosensors what is there in biosensor what is the importance of biosensors the sensitivity is very important one of the important factor is sensitivity cost cost is very important factor in your biosensor cost must be very very low okay so when you are uh, designing your biosensor the cost and the operation of uh, biosensor in order to how to operate the biosensors reliability is very important speed is very important speed is nothing but in terms of uh, seconds how many sec how many seconds how much you are getting the response that's very important so the speed the time is very important accuracy is very important precision is important the utility of biosensor so uh, uh, bio you when you are designing your uh, biosensor and you are utilizing your biosensor how long it will come that's very important field portability is very important reproductibility is very important so okay. once you are using that a biosensor you cannot uh, throw it away okay you, you should know how to use your biosensor and easy calibration okay you take a upper level people or you take lower level people they should know how to calibrate the biosensor you take uh, uh, for example you take the uh, glucose monitoring system when you are monitoring the when you are measuring the glucose level you should know what is happening what is displaying on the display board they should know how to calibrate it the stable of the system is very important stability stability of the uh, device is very important okay so based on the stability it means that uh, what are the device uh, integrator on the biosensor that you know uh, producing the proper response room for improvement so according to the situation according to the environment environment you should know how to develop your biosensors so these factors are uh, playing important role to design your biosensors again the continuation of uh, biosensor why biosensors you take a direct transjection okay so you can easily directly uh, convert into the required response selectivity simple monolithic structures and the miniatures electrical and optoelectric readout continuous monitoring deskilled use in vivo ex vivo in vitro okay so it means that uh, is related to uh, body or without body POCT, tissue and blood monitoring. So, because of these reasons, we are using the biosensors. So, now you take what is the current definition of your biosensor. So, a sensor that integrates a biological element with the help of biological materials with physical, physiochemical transducer to produce an electronic signal. Which is proportional to single electrode, which is then conveyed to a detector. So here we are bringing a simple communication model. So when you are capturing your biological element, biological materials from the body, that is very very important factor. And we need a proper transducer to convert into electronic signal or electrical signal. And so you should know how to design your proper <laughs> detector. So now you take this uh, figure, which is consisting of a simple strip. Okay, this can be used to find out the glucose level using this strip. Okay. Now you take an next slide, which is a nano biosensor, which is consisting of transducer, detector, biological recognition element, bio receptors. So now you take our body. Right. In our body, 
what are the living biological systems? So in our body, you take a microorganic system is there, receptor is there, antibody is there, DNA is there, enzyme is there, biological recognition element. Okay, you take interface chemistry is there, sensitivity is there, signal transducers, everything is available in our body, right? So what are the uh, example for living biological system? Cell, tissue, our whole organism, biological molecules, spices, antibody, enzyme, protein, etc. So here you will get idea about what is your input. Okay, so the input is very, very important. Now you take the receptors, right? So here I have given different receptors in figure. They are tissues, microorganism, organelles, cell receptors, enzymes, antibodies, nucleic acids, synthetic receptors. So yes, these, so that's why they are calling it as receptors. So who is the father of biosensor? That's very, very important. Uh, while well, doing, while well, studying about biosensors. So, Professor Lyle Leland C. Clark, JNR. So, 1980 to 2005, he's the uh, father of biosensor. He has made a lot of, uh, you know, sacrification, sac um, dedication to the biosensor devices, like bio, bio, bio sensor micro level devices. So, Professor Leland C. Clark, JNR. 1982 2005. So recently, yes, expired. So, what is uh, micro sensors? So, I already given the definition for micro sensor. So, micro sensor is nothing but uh, one, is nothing but one component. It's not a, a single element, it is a, a combination of or integration of different systems according to a according to our requirement. So, which is your objective, based on your objective, based on your aim, you are going to design your micro sensors. So, in order to design or analysis your bio sensors, we need the fabrication that is happening based on the micro level in terms of nano level. So, here I have given some devices that has actually made the help of, uh, made, are fabricated in the nano level, okay. So, this side, you know, uh, this is called your banding seals. Uh, this is a fluid connections. So this is uh, strips. Okay, this is called your reference electrode, working electrode. So this is your uh, you know uh, very very small level micro level fabrication technique based on some technique they made it. So this is called you know in order to find out the temperature as well as you know uh, <coughs> a sugar level something like that. Okay, so uh, in order to design micro bio uh, sensor we need a micro level fabrication technique so that is a different field that's not required for us that is also important uh, research in this area no they are micro fabrication is uh, depends on the uh, which is a suitable material for making the uh, devices so suitable micro level devices like you materials reveal materials like you So, my uh, next slide, you know, the components of biosensor. This is, uh, this slide will give a small idea about how to design your uh, biosensors. So, you take a biosample. So, biosample and uh, recognition element. These two is very, very important. If you want to get a blood, you know, you should know how to blood. This is a blood. You should know how to recognize it. So, blood samples or you take tissues or you take the cells or you take organism. You should know how to uh, you know, how to recognize okay these two are integrated so this is very very important area so so you should know how to capture capturing element is important in order to get the samples from the body so another interfacing is nothing but uh, transducers okay so here you know so non-electrical quantity into uh, so this is called you know biological biological parameters so the biological parameters, the input to the transducers. So transducer is, is converting into electrical signal. So here you should know that signaling condition. So in what format you are going to get in digital format or you take a analog format or you take a discrete format or you take a, a, which format you are going to take. That's very important. That's called a signal processing. Okay. So here simply, you know, you are getting now analog signal is converted into 
or analog signal or digital signal or discrete signal or something like that. So signal processing. So signal processing, you know, is uh, another stage is called signal. So electrical signal is uh, suitable for analysis. So signal processing signal is converted into signal. See, this is a basic uh, uh, biosensor principle components. I think all of you understand uh, the components of biosensor. So biosample, recognition element. So you, you should here you have to introduce a proper element to capture the biosample. If you are uh, you are getting if you are not collecting the sample properly, so you can't analyze properly in the further sites. Okay. So collect collection of samples, data collection. No, that's very very important. Uh, this this area is very very important for doing research. Once you know uh, data collection is uh, is uh, you should know how to collect your data. Once you have collected the data properly, so at, um, more than ninety percent your project work is completed. So making a technique, making algorithm, and designing the algorithm and bringing the device that and all is very simple. Okay, you understand this? Shall I go to the next slide? So what is the diagrammatic representation of your biosensor device? So this is called your know, analyte. So this is your uh, your uh, biological parameters which is available in our body. So based on the bioreceptors, this is a device using enzyme, using antibody or using microorganic system, using uh, coil, CDI, something, something like that. So here you are going to molecularly recognizing materials. This is available in our body. Okay, this is called a transducer. So transducer converting into a bioreceptor signal. This signal into measurable signal, electric signal. So electrical signal is given to the detector. So this is the you know a simple communication model for biosensor system. So biosensor system is consisting of transmitter part channel part and you take the receiver part so what is the first component of your biological element the component used to bind the target molecule so must be specific stable and a storage condition immobilized so microorganism tissues cell organelle nucleic acid enzyme enzyme component food items environment sample see this is your samples okay so this sample is very very important so you are given simple uh, uh, idea how to collect the material substrate and you take enzymes and this given given to the others so collect bioreceptor enzyme is a bioreceptor which is collecting the uh, biological parameters which is uh, placed in the body see this is a first component in the mechanism and what is the second component physical physiochemical transducers so in our body the chemical reaction is happening that's why that's called you know physics side physical chemical transducers so acts as an interface measuring the physical changes that occurs with the reaction at the bioreceptors then transforming that energy to measurable in electrical output electroactive substances which can be converted into electrode so electrode is given ph change semiconductor ph electrode heat is given to the thermistor light is given to the photon counter mass change is given to the piezoelectric effect see this is nothing but your uh, transducers right so in the transducers uh, one form of energy will be converted into electrical signal and what is the third component which is available in the biosensor systems so which is called a detector so detector can be used to displays the display the corresponding response corresponding output signal from the transducer or passed through microprocessor so microprocessor uh, your microcontroller or advanced microprocessor or you take arduino okay whatever it is that will be called as microprocessor where they are amplified and analysis so these two is very very important signal conditioning si signal conditioning system amplification and uh, analysis okay so from the microprocessor the data is then converted into concentration units and transferred to display display or data storage device so what is the function of detector 
what is the function of detector detecting the signal so detector which is consisting of amplified system filter system and then data storage system so detector which is consisting of amplified system filtering system so filtering that is one as is and storing system so that is a part of your detector so now next uh, we are going to deal about principles of detection how to detect so detection is part is very very important you take a detection area receiver side you know you will get a lot of uh, noise noise problems so in order to avoid your noise issues okay so we should know uh, the detection system uh, design is very very important to get the accuracy accurate of our signal so you generally when you are designing your uh, biosensor device right it's biosensors so what is the importance of biosensors no in order to identify the problems identify the issues so if you want to solve your issues you should know how to detect the signal properly if you know properly it's very easy to handle it handle the handle by the uh, doctors or some precision uh, uh, i mean uh, Professors or something. So first one, what are the principles of detection? Potentiometry. So this can be operated with respect to potential difference at zero current. Voltmetry, current with voltage changes. Ampere metry, current at constant voltage. Conductivity, one by one by solution of resistance. Based on the resistance, they are using the conductivity. So so these are the methods or methods for detecting the biosensor signals next one we are going to discuss about the types of biosensors what are the types of biosensors available calorimeter biosensor potentiometer biosensor amperometric biosensor optical biosensor piezoelectric biosensor so what is calorimetric biosensor which is operated based on the temperature based on the heat okay you take our body in our body uh look okay in the abnormal level and abnormal level uh you should know how to your you should know what is your temperature level so now in current situation of covid 19 situation you take every where you no know, they are using the calorimeter biosensor they are testing the temperature of the body so whether they have a, a normal temperature or abnormal temperature okay so that is called you know calorimetric biosensor which is operated based on the heat or temperature potentiometric temperature based on the volt voltage voltage based on the voltage uh, this can be operated so for example if you want to find out uh, what is the operation of your heart okay heart signal ecg signal so in our body they are placing the different nodes okay okay that's based nodes node is nothing but based on the nodes we are measuring the, the operation of uh, i mean uh, the signal electro uh, uh, operation of heart that is called e ecg signal so how to measure the ecg signal based on the placing the different node on our body amperometric so this is also based on the current optical biosensor this is the current train is playing important role in biosensor this is operated based on the light property properties of light and uh, this is called a piezoelectric effect based on the piezoelectric effect uh, based on the piezoelectric effect they are designing the biosensor that's called the piezoelectric biosensor so this is your uh, types of biosensors calorimetric biosensors so i already given what is a calorimetric biosensor this is operated based on the heat so here you take exothermic or generating heat used as a base for measuring the rate of reaction and the hence the analytic concentration now you take reactant in our body cholesterol esters glucose hydrogen peroxide penicillin peptides starch sucrose urea uric acid so enzymes so for each cases we are providing the some heat output so how much energy that can be generated that can be produced okay cholesterol how much catalase how much urease how much urea glucose how much heat so this is called en en enthalpy okay so calorimetric biosensor is based on heat 
and now you take a uh, example for calorimetric uh, uh, biosensor which is called a thermistor used to detect the temperature change function by the changing the electrical distance with the temperature u a b c d e f g h so you know s and p the sample stream passed through the uh, insulated box and each stage you know what is happening the corresponding heat so the final stage is no external electronic determines the difference in res resistance and ends the temperature between the thermistors so this is called thermistor so that can be used no thermistor based thermistor is operated based on the resistance property so electrochemical biosensor electrochemical okay so ampermetric for applied current movement of e electron in radix reaction detect when a potential applied between the two electrodes so you take the positive potential and the negative potential or you take a positive electrode or negative electrode so in between that electron is flowing based on that they are measuring the current potential metric for voltage change in the distribution of charges in the detector using ion selective electrodes conductive metric for impedance that's that's operated based on the uh, based on the um, resistance property principles of detection so this is called you know optical biosensor so a uh, calorimetric for colors so color you know calorimetric for color is very very important so you get a uh, seven colors with pair so that can be measured with the help of optical properties measure change in light adapts adsorption as reactance is converted into product so which color you need so photometric for light intensity so based on the light intensity so you can sense the a biosensor system you can design your biosensor system photon outputs or a luminescent or fluorescent process can be detected with the photo multiplier tubes or photo diode system so these two is playing important role while designing your biosensor systems okay piezoelectric biosensor so piezoelectric biosensor devices use gold to detect the specific angle at which electron waves or emitter and the substance is exposed to laser like a crystal which are such quartz so the quartz is a playing important role in designing the biosensors okay so which is having more stable system so what is piezo electric biosensors the change in frequency is proportional to the mass of observed material so based on this piezo electric biosensor can be designed and analyzed electrochemical biosensors so i already given what is electrochemical biosensor based on applied current movement of e in radix reaction detector when a potential is applied between two electrodes positive electrodes and negative electrodes electrochemical dna biosensors so dna biosensors uh, involving the following process formation of dna recognition line you should know how to recognize the dna actual hybridization event transform of the hybrid hybridization event into electrical signal see this is nothing but you are it's nothing but a transducing system so which can be used to convert into dna is into corresponding electrical signal see these are uh, steps involving in dna biosensor system potentiometric biosensor so already given now uh, the definition for potentiometric biosensor change in distribution of charge is detected using non ion selective electrodes such as ph meters optical biosensor already given based on the light absorption and based on the photo multiplier devices photo diode systems calorimetric already given dna biosensor system see this can be operated with the help of uh, the following types electrodes chips and crystals so now i am going to explain what is a glucose biosensor system so please all of you refer the uh, system which is given on the figure and table is uh, given to you so this is your concentration a and uh, you know what is happening on the each stage glucose level right radix reactive con concanol a and au electrode electrochemical signal which is no electrons 
glucose will be converted into electro-gluconic acid, lactin, carbotraxid, recognition. See, this is happening, uh, recognition and uh, converted into corresponding electrical signals. So, this is you now the chart which is given in terms of the voltage, voltage of AG and ASG uh, chemical, chemical and you take a uh, in terms of microamperes per centimeter square in terms of currents. So next we are going to deal about what are the materials used for constructing nano sensors. So next we are going to deal about what are the materials, nanoparticles, nanostructured particles used constructing your biosensor system, nanoparticles. So nano devices, what are the nano devices? So nano sensor chips, nano array, devices, semiconductor devices, etc. So these are devices can be used for biosensor systems. What are the nano tools can be used for your constructing your nano devices or biosensor devices? Biosensor devices. So this is very, very important for doing research. Okay. Fabrication technique. The fabrication technique is very important for researchers. Analysis and material metrology instruments. Software for nanotechnology, research and development used in lithography, chemical chemical vapor de deposition, 3D printing, and night nano fluids. So these are the nano tools used for constructing your nano devices. So what is a when 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 you are designing your nano uh, uh, devices, you should know what size you are required. The dimension of your biomedical, I mean biosensor, is very important. Okay, the size is a playing important while designing your uh, biosensor devices. Molecule interaction and many physical effects used for detecting interaction or taking place on angstrom nanometer scale. Angstrom nanometer. Okay, the integration of recognition, signaling, and data processing functionality on the nanoscale will offer increased. Okay, so this is very very important. So increased. Sensitivity, selectivity, high speed of analysis and uh, near station and low power consumption. So the integration of recognition, signal processing and data processing into a system, into a single element. That's very important. Okay. So that's playing an important role and while designing your biosensor devices. So nano structured materials. A particle having one or more dimension of the order of 100 nanometer or less. The dimension is very important. Which dimension you are going to design your systems? See, this is based on your organic based and inorganic based. Okay, what are the organic based system structures? Fluorence carbon nanotubes are related subjects. So nowadays they are replacing the carbon nanotubes. In 2020, they are replacing the carbon nanotubes. In order to analysis your biosensor systems, uh, dent rims, liposomes, or no organic system, quantum dots, metal nanorods, metal nanoparticles. These are the some systems used to construct your biosensor system, nanostructured materials. So, next I'm going to tell about the thermotics. Ther okay, this is the, the combination of two different. Uh, two different domains okay so thermo therm, thermo sticks the coupling of diagnostics and the therapeutics okay the combination of these two can be used for thermotic devices thermosis is uh, capable to find out the diagnosis and treat the same time so, at the same time so this is one kind of biosensor system okay major paramedical uh, companies such as uh, Glaxo, Smith, Klein, Bias, Rox, Johnson, Johnson, and Abbott have integrated the diagnostic and the therapeutic system based on the uh, based on the, the combination of both. Okay, so this is coming under you know biosensor system. Now we are going to deal about the application of biosensors. What are the important of biosensors? Okay, so this can be used to detect the environment pollution and toxicity. And uh, another important uh, application of uh, biosensor is agriculture monitoring. Okay, so you can refer Journal of uh, American Science, microbial biosensors. Next, you know your DNA sensor, 
so it can be used to find out a genetic orders okay genetic order or disorder monitoring system this is genetic problems okay immunosensor hiv hepatitis other viral problem this is drug testing environmental monitoring so immunosensor is very important see this is a playing important role in in current situation okay immunosensor is a playing important role in the uh, design of in the design of drug testing for covid 19 cell based sensor functional sensor drug testing etc point of pass sensor blood urine electrolytes gases steroids drugs hormones proteins other things so that is based on sensor point of pass sensors bacteria sensors and uh, food food industry this is very important no very important for food industry medicine industry environmental industry in the, in, and enzyme orders application of uh, nano bio sensors application of nano bio sensors So here you get uh, the uh, based on the nano bio sensors. Okay, so you can apply for biological side. So in biological side, DNA sensor, immuno sensor, cell based sensor, point of pass sensor, bacterial sensors, enzyme sensors. Now you take environment applications. So a detection of environment pollution and toxicity, agriculture monitoring, groundwater screening, oxygen monitoring. So you take a bio sensor is a playing important role to all the fields. Not only a single field. So now you are uh, coming to what is sensor, right? Biosensor. How to define your biosensor? It is a combination of different fields. Now I am going to provide a one sample for the importance of uh, biosensor. So nano biosensor play a very important role for early cancer reaching in our body players. So this is the current situation. So early cancer, detecting the cancer is a playing important role in, in the uh, current scenario, right? So not, not only uh, uh, cancer no? is a, is a playing important role to all the fields. The sensor is coated with cancer specific antibody or other bio regents, indicates the capture of the cancer cell or target protein yields electrical, optical, or mechanical signal for detection. Okay, so I'll tell you once again what is the uh, basic mechanism for your designing your biosensor, what is your recognition of your system. Okay, your recognition system is very, very important in order to in order to identify the problem. Okay, so cancer specific antibody. Okay, this is you know. You know is very very important this is this can be used to find out the cancer cells so here i have given the uh, um, algorithm how to get the uh, how to identify the uh, system okay identification of biomarkers so biomarkers is nothing but your biosensors so validation of cancer biomarkers markers okay so validation is so that validation is uh, uh, is uh, uh, defined with respect to how biomarkers is operating cancer biomarkers ligands and probe developments so you have to probe it from the corresponding place from the issues from the uh, uh, problem cancer diagnostic biosensor detector and point to care cancer diagnosis system see this is a simple algorithm is given you can write your matlab program okay so one part is over all of you and i think understand the your basic idea about the biosensors. Next, I am going to explain another video. Quickly. I think all of you understanding, all of you following. Hello, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Sir, 
Some of the questions uh, asked by participants, shall we uh, ask, no sir? You want to ask questions, sir? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Any queries, sir? Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. One query is from uh, Rahul Sharma. Uh, he has asked, uh, can we use biosensor for pollinator study? It will yes, sir, yes, sir. Your focus on this little of infection. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can use it, sir. Biomarkers also, biosensor is possible. Okay. This question is, uh, will we use for pollinator study or not? Yes, sir. Yes, all possible. Okay. Fine. Fine. Yes, sir. Sir, that, that's why I'm telling that research is going on. Shall I go to the next? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's why, sir, that is based on the different biological materials. We are testing it. Okay. So, based on that materials. Shall I go to the next PPT? I'll give five minutes time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, is it visible, sir, now? Wearable biosensors? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shall I start, sir? You can, can start, sir. You can, sir. Okay. okay. Next uh, important research uh, in biosensor is wearable biosensors. So, in this part, uh, I'm going to deal about application of uh, biosensors. I mean, wearable biosensor. So, what is the introduction part of wearable biosensor? Wearable biosensors are non absorptive devices that overcome the limitation of ambulatory technology. This can be in the form of small shirts, thin badges, which allows the continuous monitoring of blood pressure, glucose levels, and other biomatic data. So, wearable biosensor is nothing but a small device which can be used to monitor our, our all physical activities in our body. So, for example, you take a monitoring the blood pressure, glucose level. See why these two is playing in. So you take in our India, not only India, you take the world, you know. These two parameters are very, very important. These two factors are very important. Okay. So, blood pressure and glucose level. So, based on these two factors, you take all organs or you take all systems are getting affected. Okay, when blood pressure is getting high or getting low, glucose level is getting high or low, you take immediately, you know, giving a reaction to the heart. Not only heart, you take a kidney. Okay, you take liver. So, you take all important organs, you know, getting affected. So, so that's why the BP level and the glucose level is very, very important in, 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 in our body. So, by developing a two-way feedback between doctors and patients, a wearable sensor has led to transformation of disorders. So this is a small idea. They are playing important role in wearable devices, wearable gadgets. So development in wearable sensors. First one, you, I'm going to take the ring sensor. This ring sensor is nothing but a pulse accelerator sensor. Okay, it's a ring sensor in the ring size. They are introducing the LED and uh, photodiodes microprocessor inside battery transmitter. So this side, you know, transmitter, this side you take a, a LED part. Okay. Okay. So this is a plane in, in the shape of L, in the shape of ring. Okay. In the shape of ring. So this is very uh, so innovative idea. So you can design what, what shape you want. So ring shape device that can be uh, uh, working in the long period helps in the monitoring of heart rate. So, what is the important of ring shape for wearable system? So, you take uh, some way, you know, which finger you want, and somewhere you can insert it, and you and you can analyze with the help of your uh, heart. So, this is your ring sensor. So, transmitting side, and you take a microprocessor, 
So using the battery, that is an important role for operating your microprocessor and LED is the output devices. Sorry, LED is a uh, photodiode, either you can use for uh, receiver side or transmitters. So now I'm going to explain uh, what is the working principle of your ring sensor, okay. So whenever the heart misses con uh, contracts, then the blood are uh, ejected from the ventricles and the transmission of pressure pulse takes place through the circulatory system. Now laptop sound now, uh, you can uh, detect the changes in the blood value. So this can be done a photo electric method in which the conductor likes photo resistor are mainly used. You take this part is a, a system, so you are getting the response. You no, know? uh, you take the biological recognition system that can be operated with the help of LED. LED is measuring the system. The light is emitted through LED and the resistance is observing the total amount of light that reaches the every con con contraction of heart. So based on the uh, the movement uh, from heart, you are, the LED is sensing it and that will be, see this is a, uh, you know, innovative idea for measuring or rate or heart rate monitoring system. So next one is called a smart shirt, architecture of your smart shirt, smart wearable motherboard, smart wounds from the bullet. Okay, so they are wearing these smart shirt systems. You can use fit for 30 to 40 inch chest. It was working to single garment on the weaving machine. So this is the idea about a smart shirts. What is the application of uh, smart sheds, right? The smart side technology has led to smart sheds, right? So uh, smart sheds is operated based on the uh, photometric system, right? Uh, different nodes are required, uh, node, nodes are uh, placed in the sheds according to the sense you can detect. Uses of wearable sensors. So wearable sensors are for the road access. So road safety is the most important issue about but okay wearable no? when you are wearing it uh, so wearable sensors you can avoid your avoid your preventing in the roadside also and a smart clothing right so this I connect no it is connected to internet okay based on your operation no? you can detect your systems so smart clothing there are Shows which allows the individual to run with jockey partners at the distance place while active is no so sensor can be designed sensors sensing element machine learning, learning techniques how to activate this so here you can introduce the AI also computing method you are using for your uh, system while designing your biosensor device wrist. So this is a type of wearable computer equipped for the sensor for temperature and the humidity. The idea is uh, uh, detect your temperature as well as humidity of your body. Okay, as well you can detect your heart rate also. So here uh, introducing one more system is called you know, to improve your breathing. So wearable sense uh, breathing is a natural occurring phenomenon. It is becomes normal. It drops the stress. Hormones and the muscles relax. So parts, wearable in sensor, microcontroller, and a data processing system. So these are very important. Uh, playing, uh, uh, designing your uh, wearable sensor for for monitoring the breathing. Fiber study, the physiology input which allows the user to emulate the standard computer input and the non-standard input. Mouse movements and key process, etc., etc., that can be used for fiber stretch sensors. So biosensors, this is basically the comprehensive view of most application of wearable biosensors usually used in VR designing the biosensor systems as it consists of various applications and health wound uh, monitoring so thank you thank you uh, thank you very much now uh, within uh, two minutes I will display one more uh, PPT for uh, technical cues so please uh, take relaxation and coming back uh, within two minutes so please so the topic which is related to biosensor and its applications research perspective now i am going to display the first question so all of you ready mark you can provide your answer through 
chat now i am going to start the technical quiz based on the biosensors and its application research perspective so which of the following is not a characteristic of immobilized enzymes you can use chat for providing the options they cannot be reused it produces reproducible results stability exists same characteristic activity is present for the number of analysis so you can provide the option 1a or 1b or 1c like that you type chat means transducers cell or tissues so you have to type like 2a 2b 2c 2d so which of the following is a residual chemical components okay now i am going to provide the answers for the first two questions so what is the first one answer 1a hello okay wow carry on. i'll i'll take it okay okay அப்ப வருது வருது அப்ப இட்ஸ் ஓகே சரி 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 ஒன் ஃபார் ஆன்சர் ஃபார் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் क्वेश्चन இஸ் ஏ இம்மோபிலைஸ் சென்சன் can be resumed reused answer for second question is c transducer is referred as epizyo chemical components now i'm going to take the third question third question is an example of biosensor urea electrode makes use of which of the following electrodes a carbon dioxide electrode b ammonia electrode c chloride electrode d ammonium electrode so this is the question for third one now i am going to take the question four in a glucose electrode glucose acts by has been coupled to an electrode by which of the following materials a ferrocene derivatives urea polycrystallinated biochips so you can type 4a or 4b or 4c or 4d So now I am going to display for answer third question and fourth question. So third question is D. Example of biosensor urea electrode makes the use of ammonium electrode. So answer for fourth question is in a glucose electrode, glucose actually has been coupled to an electrode by using ferrocene derivatives. it is used to measure blood glucose in diabetic patients so those who are do so you have to use ferrocene derivatives for concentration between which of the following ranges 10 power minus 1 to 10 power minus 2 10 power minus 2 to 10 power minus 4 meter 10 power minus 1 to 10 power minus 4 meter 10 power minus 1 to 10 power minus 7 meter so the concentration level of glucose now i am going to display the question number 6 transducers employed in the bulk of enzyme electrode use up the following principles a amperometric optical magnetic calorimetric so which principle you are using for so now i am going to display answer for question number 5 and 6 biosensors measured glucose concentration between 10 power minus 2 and 2 10 range of 10 power minus 2 10 power minus 2. answer for sixth question a explanation transducers employed in the bulk of enzyme electrode use amperometric principle it also used for potentiometric principle so this is answer for question number 5 and 6 so now you take question number 7 which of these biosensor used the principle of heat release or absorbed by a sensor optical biosensor piezo electric biosensor calorimetric biosensor so 
So, which of the following biosins are used the movement of electron produced during radix reactions? Ampere matrix biosensor, potentiometric biosensor, isoelectric biosensor, optical biosensor. Now I am going to provide answer for 7 and 8. Seventh question D, calorimetric biosensor use the principle of heat released or absorbed by the reaction. Question number 8, answer is uh, amperometric biosensor uses the movement of electron produced during redox reaction. Now I am going to explain uh, question number 9. Nanoscopic optical biosensors have fast response time but the sensitivity is reduced. True or false? Nanoscopic optical biosensors have the fast response time but sensitivity is reduced. True or false? Now question number 10. In glucose sensor, a measurable change in oxygen value is measured of glucose value. True or false? In glucose sensor, a measurable measure of change in oxygen value is measure of glucose level. True or false? So now I am going to provide the answer for question number 9 and 10. So question number 9, B. Nanoscopic optical biosensors have the fast response. They have also excellent biochemical sensitivity. For question number A. In glucose sensor, a measure of change in oxygen value is measured of the oxygen glucose value. It is then processed and displayed. Thank you very much for providing the wonderful opportunity to deliver my uh, views with respect to biosensors and bio and its application in research perspective. So those who are doing uh, research in this area of uh, biosensors and biomedical side, please contact me, I'll help you regarding this. Once again, thank you very much to the principal of uh, GRT Engineering College and uh, HOD and uh, all colleagues, faculty, students, for members, those who are present here, Thank you very much. Sarana, madam. Thank you so much, sir, for equipping Thank us you, with all the knowledge on biosensors. Now, I would like to welcome. Shall I proceed? Good evening to all. It's my privilege to have been asked to propose a vote of thanks on this occasion. First of all, I thank our GRT IIT management and our principal for the opportunity given to us to conduct such a wonderful event. Then, I on behalf of GRT IIT and Department of ECE and on my own behalf extend a very hearty thanks to today's speaker, Dr. Kukusami, Professor Siddharth Institute of Engineering and Technology, Puttur, Andhra Pradesh for his informative talk on biosensor and its application research perspective. I am sure that the information disseminated by Sir will ignite interest of the audience towards the research in the field of biosynthesis. We are all inspired by your great words. Sir. I also would like to take this opportunity to place on record our hearty thanks to our HOD, ECE, Dr. P. C. Kumar Sir, for his support and guidance. I also extend my thanks to Mr. Sornagabal, Associate Professor ECE, who is the man behind the successful live broadcasting of this webinar, webinar on YouTube channel to cater a large number of audience. I also thanks our colleagues who have helped during the testing of demo for this YouTube live. Last but not least, I thank all the audience for their active participation in the webinar. Without them, this event won't be a great success one. Thank you. Thank you, Ananda. So, no, go, but, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Very thank nice you, sir. Thank you. We are you. getting very, very good uh, feedback in the YouTube, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, participants, uh, participants, uh, uh, so, no, go, but, sir, you share uh, uh, the participants. Feedback. Hmm. Uh, the feedback link will be shared in the chat box. All of you fill the uh, form carefully. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir.